Hello, welcome to Delight Channel. Always a pleasure to have you here with us every week. And this week, we continue what we've been talking about or what we started talking about last week, which was succession planning. Now, two things were very strong on my mind as I was coming to the studio. The first is that no matter how smart you are, you can do it all alone. And the second is that no matter how smart or strong you are, you will not always be here. And that is why the issue of succession planning is what lawyers will call enlightened self-interest. You need to pay attention to it. So like I said last week, if all you are bothered about is the new cars, the new house, going on vacation, paying school fees, then don't bother. But if you are truly an entrepreneur, meaning that you are interested in building an enterprise, that will outlive you, that will outlast you, that possibly your children will play a part in. They don't even have to be the one running. But if you want that to be part of the legacy, part of the um, assets that you will be willing to your children at your departure, then you need to pay attention to this. Now, so if you are now on board on the concept of succession planning, I'm sure you are thinking, how do I go about it? But before we get into the question of how, I think it is necessary to talk about what. So what is succession planning? Simply said, succession planning is a deliberate effort to identify, develop, and deploy manpower to take over and occupy positions in your organizations as they become available. It could be because somebody is moving up. It could be because somebody is moving on. It could also be because your business is growing up and expanding. If you do not want to be scrambling or to be caught unawares or to be taking unnecessary risk or repeating errors, then succession planning is something you cannot take for granted. Now, that's settled. The question then is, how do I achieve succession? So, I mean, successful succession or seamless succession. The answer is actually in the title of this series, which is what we call succession planning. What that means is that seamless and successful succession does not just happen. It has to be deliberate, it has to be planned, it must be ingrained in the DNA of your person, of your organization, before you can have a system where, come rain or shine, you will not lack men that will be able to take your organization forward. Have you ever wondered or reviewed or evaluated a football team that wins four or five tournaments in a season? Did you notice that it is not just 11 players that will play all those tournaments? If you go and research, and I'm a football person, you realize that teams that end up winning multiple trophies in a season would, for the most part, have at least two players for each role, for each position in the team. Why? Because in the course of the season, there will be fatigue, there will be injuries, there will be succession. So, you realize that some very good teams, they have injury or one player suspended for a few games and everything just goes south from there. They lose one game and the whole, the whole season comes crashing down. But if you have teams that will win multiple trophies in a season, it is because the coach has been deliberate to ensure that for every role, there is a backup. And that is your role as the entrepreneur. Yes, it's your baby. Yes, you've been attached to it. Yes, you've nursed it. Yes, you've seen it grown. Yes, you've seen it fly. But hey, you will not always be here. And in my journey of consulting, where I have had the privilege of consulting for organizations across industries, across sectors, across countries, what I've found, particularly with startups and SMEs, is that it is hard for them to conceive the idea 
of being without their baby, their business. But if you remember how we started, that no matter what you do, you will not always be here, then you need to ensure that you are taking steps to see to it that when you die or you are incapacitated or you even want to do something else, the business does not have to die. So, in the next couple of videos, as we go through this series, I will be sharing with you four major principles that you need to apply for you to have a seamless and successful succession. And what is the very first one? You need to acquire that mindset. And that's what I was hanging on in the last few seconds. You need to acquire the succession mindset. Many entrepreneurs can't even imagine themselves without the business or the business without them. But I'm trying to shake, I'm trying to shake you awake now to say it's either you are changed or you change. Either you are moved or you move. No matter what you do, you will not always be there. So the very first thing is accept that reality. Swallow it. Digest it. It's a fact. It's not going to change. And how do you acquire that mindset? The answer is very simple. Create your legacy. What would you like your legacy to be? Your legacy for the business. Your legacy for yourself. So, if I focus on your legacy for the business, are you building for the short run? Are you building for the long run? How big will you like it to be? How wide will you like it to be? How far will you like it to go? The clearer that is in your mind, the clearer also it will be that you alone can be the one to make it go the whole hog. The second thing about the legacy for yourself is there are other parts of your life, your hobby, your interest, your family, your passion. Some, some, someone watching this is interested in photography and yet every day is lost in the table walk and in, in meetings and never has the opportunity of just filming or or, or, or photographing. Somebody here wants to learn how to play golf. Somebody wants to read a book. Somebody wants to write a book. Somebody wants to start a blog. Somebody wants to start a journal. As long as you are tied to this, your baby, you will not be able to pursue those things. So create your legacy so that you can acquire that mindset. Because once you have that clear in front of you, you will realize that your life without the business does not necessarily now mean a less quality life, a less interesting life, a less relevant life, a less impactful life. Because these are the problems that entrepreneurs have. They think that oh, once I stop this, I stop being relevant or I stop being important. If that is what defines your relevance, then you need to work on that mindset. Because it's very shocking that I've seen businesses irrespective of how long, how much money they are making, how educated the owners are, after how many years of running, everything is still tied around the owner. Even when he or she is outside the country, nothing can still get done until that person is involved. You are not yet a fool a or a true entrepreneur. Because how do you become a true entrepreneur? You become a true entrepreneur when your money starts making money for you. And that is what we are talking about. So, principle number one is what? Create the succession mindset. And that is where I will be dropping the anchor this week. Of course, you know you can write in. You know how to reach us. Raise anything you want to raise. Let us know what is confusing or what you like to see us cover. And in the subsequent videos, as long as we get to hear from you, we will address those issues as much as we can. And if we need to reach out to you directly, be sure we are going to do that. Thanks for being here every week. It's always a pleasure. Don't ever forget that t -Mark is still my name and that all I'm trying to do is what? Make a little difference. Thanks for being here and I hope to see you next week. Bye.